I'm Rachel and I'm going to be doing an occupied bed skill today. But before entering the room, I would knock, introduce myself as a CNA, and then I would introduce myself to the patient. Hi, Annie, I'm Rachel, new CNA today, and explain the procedure that we're going to be making an occupied bed. I would gather all my materials, which I have done so here at the end of the bed, which is considered a clean space. I would then wash my hands and identify the patient with two factors. I can either look at the chart or at their wristband to make sure that I'm talking to the right person and performing the operation on the right patient. I'd also check to see if the bed was soiled at all. If the bed's not soiled, which we're assuming it's not, I would put on gloves and then proceed with the procedure, but there's no need to put on gloves. So for that sake, we're just gonna pretend that she doesn't have a soiled bed. And I would start by untucking the end of the bed. Get all of this, but thank you. The worst thing for you, dummy. All right, and then I'm gonna pull her sheets all the way down to the foot of the bed. And you want to maintain the modesty of the patient and make sure they're covered. She's wearing a gown, so she is considered covered. But we're also going to put a draw sheet on her. So she can stay warm. Just elderly always like to be warm. And if these were soiled, I'd put them in the laundry. Um, otherwise, we could fold them and put them back in our closet and it would be reused. But for the sake of the video, they're going in the laundry. All right, and we have one bed rail up. So if I had an assistant in the room, the patient would be able to be capable to roll over onto their side and hang onto the bed rail. So I'm gonna have her roll over and explain to her what we're doing. And she would be able to grab the handrail <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna take the pillow. Once it's removed from under their head, they toss in discomfort. You can remove the pillowcase. The pillow can then go on the bedside table or on a chair where it's considered a clean space, and the pillowcase can go in the laundry. And then we're gonna remove the fitted sheet from this side of the bed. And the collars. And that, along with the wet mat, we're gonna roll up under and next to the patient. We're gonna grab our fitted sheet, the clean one, put it on this side of the bed. Make sure it doesn't touch the soiled sheet if it was soiled. And this is going to get tucked up under this side of the soiled sheets. And then we're going to grab the clean wet sheet and do the same thing to avoid having to roll her back and forth. We're going to, we're just going to tuck it up under here. And then either with assistance or the patient would be able to do so. We roll her carefully back over onto our other side. And she would be able to reach over and grab that side rail. If not, we'd have someone assist her. But we're assuming she's capable to hold herself on that side. Okay. Always maintain her modesty. All right. And now we're going to take the soiled linens on this side and roll them away from the patient so they're not contaminated. And these would go in the laundry. This can be the floor for now. All right, and then we're going to top sheet here, place this on top of the patient. And I 
would then ask her to hold the top sheet while I would remove the under sheet, but that's not really possible right now, so we're gonna see how this goes. Take the draw sheet out from under the top sheet. And this can be refolded and reused if needed. And then we're gonna tuck the bottom and you can either do a pleated tuck or a regular tuck, but make sure that the sheets are always smooth and free of wrinkles to avoid abrasions on the skin. I'm gonna do a pleated tuck on this side. And I'm gonna clean this side and do the same thing. All right, that's good. Make sure she's comfortable. We can grab the pillowcase next. Annie, I'm going to lift your head again. Pillows in place. Finally, we'll put on her top sheet. Make sure the bed's in the lowest position. All right, I'm also gonna make sure that the bed wigs are on, which they are. Grab the Armenian laundry. Make sure her call light's within reach. Make sure she's comfortable and let her know that I can come back if she ever needs a call light pressed. We're good to go.